Hello and welcome back to Louis Furries, where you learn about animals and learn to pronounce your teacher's name. So this week we're continuing our summer series for highlighting our local zoos and our highlighted zoo this this week is Turtleback Zoo, which, which is the second closest of, of the zoos we're going we're going to look at. It's a in West West Orange, thirty 30 minutes from Classical Academy, either, either a parkway to 280 or just driving through um, local roads. The admission is $17 for an adult, $14 for a, for a child ticket. But, you know, well, it, that's, a, that's going to be about average for, the, for these kinds of places, I think. Uh, so so this, this is a, a public zoo run by Essex County. It, and it's real. It's really the best of the local zoos. Really, yeah. I mean, of course, the well, the best best zoo in our region is, of course, the Bronx Zoo in New York. But, but if you want something something much more local than that, this is the this is going to be the best of the bunch. It's got a w wide variety of animals from around the world, so it's not a specialist collection like the Bergen County Zoo. And you. And they also they also have both in, indoor and outdoor exhibits, which is very good for visiting in the summer because it means you have the chance to get out to get out of the, out of the sun and see and and, vis, and visit some of the animals inside. They're also fit, you know like like a lot of the public zoos. They're also very very uh, in, involved in a conser conservation and rehabilitation efforts for wildlife. Uh, so what. So one of the indoor features is a is a sea turtle rescue and rehabilitation center, which I guess, I guess they decided to put to put in because you know because of the because of the name Turtleback, or as I understand, Turtleback is named for for a local rock feature rather than an actual turtle. And, but anyway, today today is a featured animal will be. Will be one of those indoor exhibits, but not not the sea turtles because unfortunately I couldn't get a very good picture in there. Uh, we have Kingdom Animalia because we are still featuring animals, of course. Phylum Cordata. Today we are fe we are featuring a vertebrate, or, although this 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 zoo does have some uh, invertebrate animals on the on display, but I chose not to use to adopt one of them as as my animal feature for the week. Class reptilia, reptiles. I don't think I don't think we've done any reptiles on on Louis Springs yet. But of course, uh, reptiles, of course, are are a large large class of uh, animals, inclu including uh, li lizards, snakes, <laughs> turtles, and yeah, distinct distinct distinguished uh, by by uh, how by features of uh, ha having a, uh, some some kind of a scale scaly outer outer layers, uh, have uh, lay, lay, laying eggs uh, not often not in, usually not in the water, whereas amphibians have to have to reproduce in, in water. Uh, repti rep reptiles are are all en endothermic. They they. <laughs> They uh, can use external means to control their body temperature rather, rather than a do, rather than doing it internally the way ma mammals and birds do. Anyway, th this week we're looking we're looking in order crocodilia. So cro so crocodilians are <laughs> are are the are the uh, Larger group, including both alligators and crocodiles, which are two separate families. So a lot, a lot of people, a lot of uh, non-scientists don't don't figure that there's all that much difference between alligators or crocodile and crocodiles, or 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 if they uh, if they fam familiar with it, with the with the difference at all, they just recognize the su the superficial difference that in the sh shape of the snouts, but that there's quite quite a bit of a of a less obvious genetic difference between alligators and crocodiles enough so that they're considered separate families. And so today we are looking at a crocodile, so family crocodilini, and and 
and in particular we have Osteolemus tetraspis, the dwarf crocodile. So here's the, the dwarf crocodile as pictured from this, as the, on display at the zoo. So this one is a, ju, is a juvenile croc, crocodile, so it's only, it's only uh, about a foot long or so. The adult, adults get to be five, five to six feet, or one, or one and a half to two meters if you are metric. And and the the weight range again in adults can be can be a bit a very wide range uh, any anywhere between four, between forty pounds of, for a small adult up to a hundred eighty for the largest or though really eighty pounds is more common. Mm -hmm. so most most crocodiles are fa are famously ambush predators that. That that attack that attack large animals that approach the water. Dwarf crocodiles, not so much. They're a lot more ge generalist carnivores. They they tend to eat small animals rather rather than big ones. You know, these, of course, dwarf crocodiles are fa fairly small. They they're the sm they're the smallest of all of all the crocodile species. Although not although uh, not not the smallest of all the crocodilians because there's a smaller alligator but they, uh, but the dwarf crocodiles go after all sorts of small animals in insects fish small birds bats whatever 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 they can catch um, now, unlike most other crocodiles the, the these these will Active, actively hunt for food rather than lying in an ambush, and they, and they, and they will forage on land as well as in the water. So here, there is a picture of a more adult a dwarf, dwarf crocodile. So, so one thing you might notice right right away is that it is that it has bit, some very thick scales co covering it. So in Indeed, thicker than most other crocodile species, because the dwarf crocodile, being smaller, is a, you know, is good, is potentially vulnerable to being attacked by larger predators. Whereas other crocodiles are mostly apex species that don't have to worry about it. So they have, so the dwarf crocodiles have thicker scales, especially around the neck and tail, as, you know, as as armor to protect them from attacks. The dwarf crocodiles are native to West Africa. Uh, their main habitat would be in for would be in forested wetland areas. So, so not just rain for rain forests as you might think as you might think of them, but any pl any place where you have where you have a small a small pond, stream, marsh, whatever within a forest is good is good dwarf crocodile habitat. Uh, there are also a few. Um, Populations of dwarf crocodiles that live in other settings, uh, such such as uh, pools in the in the savanna or in ca in caves in Gabon. So, be, well, be, being fairly ad fairly adaptable, they're not they're they're not in the the worst situation. Uh, the, they're listed as vulnerable on the uh, IUCN, International Union for Conservation of Nature, the, 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 red, the official global red list of endangered species. Vulnerable status is the, le is the least bad of the, of the uh, categories they're considered endangered. So these guys are not, are not in, you know, Im immediately likely to have any, anything bad happen to to them as a species, but the, but the, but their prospects are, aren't all that positive. If you know, if the hu humans uh, start encroaching on, on their ha habitat further, they could they could be uh, driven into some danger. <laughs> oh. all right. So there's the dwarf crocodile. I think an interesting species to look at for our, for our first uh, Larry's first reptile. And information, the animal information from Wikipedia, the zoo information from the zoo website, which you should, which you should visit if you're interested in going to the zoo because uh, Tur Turtleback Zoo is still do 
is still doing a bit, quite a bit of the COVID protocol stuff. Uh, they, uh, they, they have re somewhat relaxed mask requirements, but they, they still do have a lim limited amount of it, numbers of admissions available. And so, if you, if you want to visit, especially if you want to do so on a, you know, at a potentially busy time such as a weekend during the summer, you. It, you really need to uh, pre-order your tickets on on the website rather, rather than trying to buy them at the gate. Uh, but photos, of course, the photos from the zoo I, I took, uh, the, the, the photo of the adult crocodile I, I, I downloaded, and therefore, and therefore the, the video is uh, licensed accordingly. All right, so that's it for today. Have a, have a great week, and we'll see you again next next week as we as we approach the end of our, of, of our school year